good. Is it possible to walk three dogs at once? I believe it is. It really truly is. Okay guys, what I'm doing is I'm taking this. Uh... Okay guys, what I'm doing here is I definitely need to go powder my nose before I go to the gym. I might scare some people. But uh, this is what we have here. I'm taking this used spaghetti jar and um, I'm, I've put two scoops of the uh, wheatgrass powder and I'm taking this to the gym with me. And so I'm gonna buy a can of coconut water at the grocery store because I have to go get some dishwasher detergent and um, I have to go get uh, a couple other like uh, staples. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be my pre after workout, we'll see whatever, probably after workout uh, drink. And so yeah, going to the gym. Peace. Oh, I also wanna share a new book that I got um, this is really good. Um, this is a anatomy and physiology book, but it takes it from a more uh, holistic approach, and it's by Pip Waller. I am just uh, about one chapter in, but so far, so good. Um, if you're wanting a little bit more of a, a holistic approach, to anatomy and fizz it's it's good uh yeah so re gonna take this to the gym as well and try to read it okay also i'm taking this bottle of water to the gym because yes water is life Aldi's did a major grocery haul, but it is crazy. I spent $131 and I filled up my cart. It's like amazes me how good of a deal you can get at Aldi's. It's like really so much better than Walmart. But um, I got all kinds of food for the fam and I just wanted to let you know I am doing the green juice. So I put two scoops of the wheatgrass powder in one uh, carton of the um, coconut water and it turns out I had to get this type because it was on sale and so it's organic and I was like I might as well get this because it's going to be a lot cheaper so I'm going to do this major 
green juice. I mean, that's got two scoops of wheatgrass in it. That's pretty thick. Woo. That's green, y'all. That's some green. I, I don't know. I better, better wait till I get home. You know what I'm saying? Something might happen. We might have an explosion of chaos. Might have to stop at the gas station on the way. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I did a hard workout, too. I went to the gym, and I smashed it at the gym. I really did. Like, I smashed it. And I've got some grapes. So that's what I'm gonna eat right now. And it's like a pre, that's probably, I'm gonna eat that and then uh, do some juice probably. Or I may just do this and then do some juice and then do the grapes, I don't know. I'm kinda like detoxing today, um, just a little bit to be on the detox safe side, if you know what I mean, y'all. Because I have just found out by eating the juices and the detoxifying diet that I've been on for the past uh, couple of months has really been helping my, um, my digestion to heal, like on a massive level. Um, it's pretty huge. And I notice when I eat a lot of the meat or cooks foods my uh, stomach gets really heavy and my organs get really heavy so trying to stay light and stay uh, you know in the juicing vegetable range for healing and uh, so yeah that's uh, what's going on and it looks like I'm gonna have to go back in here and get hot dog buns for the fam cuz they want some hot dogs you know what I'm saying so yeah, hot dogs for the win, for the fam. back behind the clouds as you can see those beautiful beautiful streets and it's just right over the edge of the atmosphere oh and here's some squirts there's some squirts back behind these clouds you can't I don't know if you can pick those up I can't see what the camera is seeing but yeah they're there Okay, so we're just going to do a little mukbang in my car. I thought this might work. Let's see what we've got here. Yep, that'll work. Oh, so we're going to do a little mukbang. Well, I drink my wheat to grass coconut water. And guys, this stuff is amazing. It, I mean, it doesn't taste wonderful, but it will do the trick. And you know, if you put a little bit of coconut in here, some coconut with a pr with like a, uh, I was gonna say a prune, but not a prune, but with a date, that would be really delicious. And the possibilities are endless of what you can do to uh, max out the nutrition and the antioxidants, the bioflavonoids, like. You could even put a lemon in here, and um, you know, and a and a date, and that would be really good. I mean, that would taste really good. But uh, yeah, so I just thought I would do a little mukbang in my car with you guys and talk about. holistic anatomy there was like this little uh, brief thing that I outlined in here that I really liked and it was on a 
echinacea, which I was, this was like one of those things that I was reading and I was just like, wow, this is so cool because I never knew this about echinacea from like an anatomical, anatomical, physiological level. Okay, so I'm just going to read you this little paragraph. This will be like a little sneak, uh, sneaky a tidbit from this, okay? Water, water everywhere. The human body, like the surface of the earth, is 60 to 70 percent water. This water is found all over the place, inside cells, where it is called intracellular fluid or cytoplasm, and outside cells, extracellular fluid. Extracellular fluid outside of the cells is found both in and out of tissue spaces. In the tissue spaces, it is called tissue fluid or interstitial or interstitial fluid. And this bathes every cell in the body. There is a kind of glue here that holds the cells together and makes a gel of the tissue fluid called hyaluronic acid. There is also extracellular fluid that is not found in the tissue spaces. This includes the blood plasma lymph and cere cerebrospinal fluid. Some bacteria and viruses make an enzyme called hyaluronidase, which breaks down this glue to allow them to move around more freely. Now get this guys, this is what I want you to hear, okay? Because once you get this, this is kind of like one of those aha moments, and I really enjoyed reading this in this book. Some bacteria and viruses make an enzyme called hyaluronidase, okay, which breaks down this glue and allows them to move around more freely. The well-known plant, echinacea, is anti-hyaluronidase. It can halt the spread through the body of invading organisms by preventing them from ungluing our tissue fluid. Research has found that echinacea also increases phagocytosis of foreign matter by white blood cells, increases lymphokines and cytokines that stimulate immune function, is antiviral, at least externally, in vitro, is anti-inflammatory, and yet improves wound healing and has some anti antimicrobial activity. Now guys, I never knew that about echinacea. That's pretty amazing. If you know a little bit of anatomy and physiology, it really is very interesting. And that's why I'm reading this book is because when I took anatomy and physiology, it really helps me to understand the human body. And even though I had I knew I had some basic knowledge of it. When you understand like the processes of the body, like the uh, inflammatory response of the body and stuff like that, it really helps you to understand what is going on within our bodies when we subject it to a lot of toxins, stress, um, and certain and too much food. It really breaks the body down. And, um, you know, this, this, uh, it's interesting to know that the echinacea helps the body not to break down. It kind of helps to repair it and clean it up, which is really amazing. And echinacea is like one of those things that was really one of those herbs that became super popular where I live. Like everybody was like, wanting the echinacea, you know, during cold season, and it still is a popular herb now. Like, a lot of people uh, take the echinacea during cold season. Like, I mean, all those cold formulas, they say, 
you know, it includes echinacea, vitamin C, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's why, because it's really a magnificent herb. And I would really like to know more about it. Wow, this is really good. It's not bad at all. I mean, at first when I tasted it, I was like, oh, this is not that great. But then I was like, this is really helping my body. This is healing my body. This is what my body needs. My body needs love, and this is love to my body. And, uh, you know, guys, always eating the stuff that tastes good and that's delicious is not really what we need. So, um, that being said, you know, it's huge, but, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, well, I'm not going to close the video. Yeah, I'm vlogging today, just to kind of do a vlog. Um, I had someone ask me what I'm eating on OMOD, and so I thought I'd do what I eat in a day on OMOD. Video, which I've got tons of them in my playlist if you want to check them out. I've got tons of OMOD uh, playlist uh, videos of what I'm eating, but I thought I'd do a fresh one today. <clears throat> and uh, so, doing right now uh, phase one, it's uh, 12 49, and I'm breaking my fast. Um, now, with my one meal a day, I, when I was super, super duper strict when I first started doing OMOD, I didn't do any sugar. I didn't do anything that had calories. Like, I was so meticulous that I wouldn't even, like, eat more than a wedge of lemon, you know, in my water. Um, I, the, a true OMOD person that does OMOD will do no calories whatsoever, just water or a tea with no sugar in it, no cream, nothing like that. And so what I was doing is I was doing coffee and the coffee was great and everything. It really helped me. It curbed, believe it or not, it actually curbed my appetite. It made me not think about food, but it kind of put me in a state of fight or flight where I was kind of like, you know, going a little bit too hard in the state of fight or flight and so it, once you for me once I cross that barrier into fight or flight it's really hard to come out of it because where I went through the nursing program um, I really kind of got stuck in the state of fight or flight and um, when I was doing that, that stressful program and working at a um, I was going to school taking really hard nursing classes and then um, I was also taking um, I was working at a nursing home which was very stressful we had like 40 patients on one floor that I had to take care of and there were only three CNAs there was supposed to be four or five and they never showed up it was total I was basically my cortisol levels shot through the roof and um, you know it was really unhealthy and I did that for like a year like and then finally I reached uh, adrenal burnout zone and I was just like I can't do this anymore my body literally just like malfunctioned I just kind of went in like overload psycho city yeah and midlife crisis total torrential melt down and I literally I mean needless to say it almost destroyed my family and my life it was a complete I was like okay I'm not uh, 25 years old anymore you know it's time to slow down I thought I was superwoman I thought I could take on the world but at the age that I was it was just not working out and at the time I had small children still and I was trying to be a mom and a wife it was just like chronic stress overload 
so after that happened, um, needless to say, um, you know, I've been on the healing journey ever since. And then when I had my bicycle wreck, I was like really massively trying to heal. I had no choice but to really hit the healing journey hard. And that's where I am now. And I bounce back continually like um, this past winter I thought, oh, I can eat this, I can eat that. And I just started eating whatever. And um, I saw my uh, prolapse symptoms go from 80% healed to like 50% healed in a matter of a month. And I was like, you know what? I'm going back. I'm going back to juicing. I'm going back to raw. I'm going back to fruits. I'm going back to green juice and, you know, and staying away from the meat. Meat is great. Eggs are great. I love an egg in my salad every once in a while. Um, I like a little bit of yogurt every once in a while, as long as it's organic. And I like hamburger every once in a while, as long as it's grass-fed. But basically, I've not been doing any meat, any fish, or anything. I mean, I keep making it for my family, and I'm not eating it because the effects of it is just it weighs down super heavy. It just... It really is, uh, it kind of blocks me up, clogs me up. It just moves so through, slow through my system. And I just really love the juices and a really great salad and some nut cheese and stuff like that. So, yeah. So now I'm going to try to go get some flaxseed so that I can make some flaxseed crackers that like those flackers that I'm going to make some of those and see if I can't make some like that lady does. Maybe I can find a recipe on Pinterest that's similar to it. I bet I can. Because the cracker is like a little tiny bag. It's like $2.99. And I would like to get a bag of like, um, you know, like a big bunch of it and, you know, eat it. And like my family, and my husband even liked it, which was surprising. So, but I guess I'm going to quit talking so much and, um, Go ahead and uh, head on down the line. Peace.